Hello everyone, and welcome back to Age of Noob. Age of Empires 4 will finally get its own set of cheat codes on October 25th, and although we had a sneak peek on some of them during the public update preview, I can finally share the full list with you folks today. I do think that the cheat codes could have been more comprehensive and unique, but they're still a good bunch and definitely a step in the right direction. So without further ado, plug in your keyboards and let's dive right in. All right, let's first start with how to get the cheats working in your games. If you are the lobby host of a custom game, you will find an enable cheats option in the settings. Once the game starts, all you have to do is type the cheat code as a regular chat message and it should work just fine. Obviously, if you mistype, then it will be sent as a regular chat message. That said, if you do want to cheat in your ranked games to stomp on your opponents, then there are a few more steps involved, as it's not that straightforward. First, right click on the game on Steam, then click on properties. After that, type dash enable ranked cheating in the launch options and then, well, nothing will happen. Of course, you cannot use cheats in any match made game and shame on you if you got excited for a second. In fact, if you are playing against some not so nice players who sneakily enable cheats at the last second in a regular custom lobby without the knowledge of the other players, rest assured that the game very clearly announces every time a player uses a cheating game. So those players will be caught and at that point I just leave the game and start a new one. Or you could start spamming your own photon men I suppose. Serious? <laughs> anyway, with all of this out of the way, let's take a look at the full list now starting with the basics. Do keep in mind that the cheats are not case sensitive, so you can type them out however you want. Age of Empires 4 would not be an Age of Empires game if you couldn't give yourself resources for free. That said, one difference this time is that cheats do not give 1000 or 10,000 of each resource, but maxes them out at 100,000 instead. Hence, full meal deal will max out your food, knock on wood will max your wood, I have an app idea will max your gold, and take it for granted will max out your stone. If you don't want to type those out individually because you want to max out all your resources, then you can type out Smorgasbord instead, which is a Swedish open buffet with many types of food. Some nice touches in the cheat codes so far. Age Me Up Scotty immediately ages you up, but keep in mind that doing so will no longer allow you to build either of their previous ages landmarks. I also don't know who Scotty is, so if someone knows the reference for this cheat code, please share with us in the comments below. One of the most important cheat codes is in a jiffy, which makes building, researching, and producing units instant. This cheat code would have saved me and many others so much time given that we don't have a scenario editor, but thankfully it's with us now. The next two are it is known and it was known, with the former being a toggle to reveal or hide the map and the latter to remove the fog of war. Basically, the reveal map and no fog of AOE 1 and Marco Polo of AOE 2. Of course, as showcased previously in this video, you can type Photon Man to spawn one by your capital town center. If you're curious as to what this beast of a unit is, you can check out my video from yesterday linked to the upper right or down below. That said, one funny quirk that I found out is that the town center not being destroyed is not really a condition that is required. Hence, unlike other Age of Empires games, you can keep spamming your Photon Men next to your destroyed capital town center without any problems. Next up is a brutal one, which is make it quick. Any living unit in the game or building that you have selected will immediately die or be destroyed, so this includes animals as well. Hence, you can finally select all wolves and go Thanos on their bitey asses. There is another way to accomplish the aforementioned, and it is with the U Monster Cheat. This cheat kills all Gaia, which obviously includes sheep, boars, and deer. However, do keep in mind that the animals completely disappear from the game, so unlike Make It Quick, you won't be able to harvest the food from the carcasses. Another say the one is Anti-Poke, which makes all units and buildings invulnerable. That said, the previous Make It Quick cheat actually overrides this one, so they are only invulnerable to in-engine sources of damage. Now, the next one is another cheat that I have been waiting for a year and it's minimally minimal. In theory, it's a toggle to hide or show all UI elements, but for some reason it's not working in the practice build that we have access to. The devs will likely fix this for the live release for you folks, and it's definitely a godsend for all content creators who want to capture clean footage from the game. King size beds maxes the population cap, but only based on the lobby settings. Hence, if the maximum population in the game is the default 200, then the game will let you train 200 population space of units without the need of building a single house. At the core is actually a unique and fun cheat, as it trains one of each core unit of the civilization excluding siege units. Spamming this multiple times can quickly give you a sample army to work with. Big Bat Sheep turns all sheep into wolves, so if you like torturing yourself at the start of the game, I suppose you could start with this. Out with the new replaces the attack notification alarm with the Age of Empires 2 version. I give up as an alternative way of resigning from the game if you want to be defeated in style. 
One of Us is a very troll cheat code which instantly converts the selected units for you. You and your friends can spam instant wallolo each other, so the practicality of this cheat code is questionable against other human players. Zeleport is another fun one and works surprisingly very smoothly. It allows your selected units to be instantly teleported to wherever your cursor is. Kind of like the Chronosphere weapon of the allies from Red Alert 2 that teleported their tanks. Again, this should be a very fun cheat to move around the map to troll your friends. This is fine is of course a reference to the meme and instantly sets the buildings you selected on fire. Since this is fine can start the fire on even fully healthy buildings with maximum HP, a single villager's hammer strike is enough to stop the fire so keep that in mind. We also have two that are campaign specific, in which another round slows down simulation in a campaign mission and another cup enables turbo mode instead. Obviously, cheats disable any achievement so keep in mind that you cannot use these to work on them. And finally, the Age of Noob makes the Spearman the most powerful unit in the game. Well, okay, this one's a lie, but a man can dream. Maybe one day. To wrap up on a more serious note, these cheats were long overdue and should allow lots of casual players to fool around and save content creators a lot of time. What is missing in my opinion is not only the Cobra car from Age of Empires 2, but actually an Age of Empires 4 unique cheat unit. The previous entries all had their iconic silly units, and I hope that Age of Empires 4 gets one of its own at some point. Well, that's all you need to know about the full list of cheats that are coming our way on October 25th for Age of Empires 4, so do let me know which ones are your favorite down in the comments below. The next video uploaded to the channel will be the Janissary Analysis video, so be sure to like and subscribe to Age of Noob to not miss out. And thank you as always to my Patreons for their continued support. As always, thanks for watching everyone, be on the lookout for the cheats enabled option in your custom lobbies, and see you all in the next one.